Gutter and Trish here, and we're here with Gutter's Reaction Ad Nauseam. And why this is happening this way is this video has like two purposes. The first purpose is that me being a miserable fuck that I am and her being a happy person, she's trying to inject some Christmas cheer into this miserable fuck. And the second purpose is... Bird said at one point, I can't remember if it's on an episode that ran already, because who knows when this is running. This is probably running before that episode, but he was talking about holiday commercials back in the day actually having heart and stuff, and how nowadays they don't. So they were kind of deep diving commercials from the 50s till now. Christmas commercials, that is. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And we're going to see just how much heart they had. Just how much heart they have and what they are now. Yeah, kind of. I guess we'll see because it all depends on the compilations I have. Because just like always, I put no effort into checking these compilations out before watching. So it'll be a surprise to <laughs> yeah. all of us. So we'll see. So yeah, we're going to start off with like 50s slash 60s commercials. Because a lot of these things on YouTube say they're from the 50s. They're not. They're from the 60s. But... Yeah, we'll see. So, yeah, we'll just start this shit right fucking now and just see how it fucking goes. And I guess if you want to check out any of these compilations by themselves, I'll link them down below. Mrs. Cleaver. How many husbands did that bitch have? Well, I think it was more of a son. Well, because, you know, in the 50s and 60s, people, like, where they played kids were always adults, so it was like, I think those were supposed to be his husband and kids, maybe. <laughs> True that. You don't have to whisper, you could use your real fucking talking <laughs> voice loud as fuck. <coughs> that seems kind of even expensive for them. Straight from America. Look, he looks just as miserable as I do if on Christmas. Her, yeah, now he's happy. Yeah, because that bitch is all rubbing him. It's Christmas Eve, and I watch my children with wonder. For I've been told the world is That's Christmas. creepy. You shouldn't watch your kids when they sleep, lady. They on their Christmas stocking, just as I did many Christmases ago. Oh, yeah, we're supposed to be Christmas cheer at heart. Yeah, I was hoping to try to find some, want some more local Christmas commercials, but I'm lazy. Because I could have, but I'm lazy. Man, we're going to have to go get some Tootsie Rolls after this. I haven't had a Tootsie Roll in forever. So we're really going to go out and brave the COVID wasteland for no. Tootsie Rolls. That's another reason why we're doing this, because me and Bert are still doing Skype episodes, so kind of hard for the, you know. This is a germ-free zone. Well, it's maybe. You don't know. Well, yeah, you do know. <laughs> Why are all old school, see, 60, says 50, but 960, but why are all old school sound as creepy as fuck with like the shittiest fucking beards ever? Boy, this commercial really sucks. <laughs> I was just thinking about how like probably those vacuum cleaners yeah, probably weird still fucking work now, but you buy a vacuum cleaner nowadays in like two years and it's dead as fuck. We've seen this commercial a million oh, fucking times. Oh, Lucky Strikes! wonder if they still make those, you think? 
I think so, probably. Really? I don't think they, they still make Paul Malls and stuff. Like, I want to say, I remember being a little kid and, like, my parents and stuff buying my grandfather cartons of cigarettes and them having Christmas. I don't think they were Lucky Strikes, but them having, like, Christmas designs on the cartons and stuff. <laughs> and that was in the fucking, you know, early, mid-80s. Back when things used to be, I don't know. Not now. Anything not now is great. <laughs> That's why I'm worried to see whenever we get to the now commercials, it's all going to be like post-apocalyptic fucking shit. Apocalyptic. Not elliptic. Go happy, go lucky. Oh, now we even got like other lucky strike things. That just happens to be louder than every fucking thing else so far. So I haven't noticed much heart in the 50s, 60s ones. Everything seems well, awesome. Well, they're smoking. And, well, besides the lead guy getting his face That's fucking rubbed. That's because all the heart's been in the bedroom, and now all the smoking <laughs> is afterwards. Well, that was that. So, oh. But no, I still say, so far, yeah, not much heart because everything was all just like, Meh, in the yeah. 50s, everything was all super laced up, and but we'll see once we get to the 70s and 80s, our <clears throat> actual nostalgia time. So I guess maybe I should just say fuck it and just start 50, I mean 60s, fuck, 70s and 80s. Sure, Whoop. baby, you're running this shit. So yeah, come on, commercials. So, yeah, speaking of, this is the longest hunk of all of the commercials. This is 40-some minutes of 70s and 80s ones mixed and matched. I don't think they go in order of year. I mean, that would make it nice, but... See, now we got some heart, you know. Look, I've, I have Mickey Mouse on my nails. And I have a Coke in my hand. <laughs> see, I know, like, I'll, it's different with, you know, because I say, yeah, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. What I'm saying is, see, this is the fucking 80s shit I love, man. All cheap as fuck. Look at this commercial. Cheap as fuck. It's like the old yarn and darn ones. Five and ten store, five and dime stores. Nabisco crackers. Oh, holiday tradition. Yeah. Enjoy them with your favorite topic. Why not just take a fucking thing of shredded wheat and put a goddamn piece of cheese on it? <laughs> and Ritz, regular or new low salt. Ritz are good. And the Bisco snack crackers. Better cheddars are fucking good. Those, those still exist? I think so. They must if goddamn chicken and a biscuit still fucking exist. Better cheddars probably still exist. Is this the pre-bunny? Oh god, yes. Look at the fucking um, football game he's playing. Right, is that what the Energizer Bunny? Yeah, it was the Energizer Bunny. For life! Energize me. Ooh! Ooh, Santa! <laughs> oh, I'll energize you, Santa. That's like the fucking... No, that probably didn't air yet, so never mind about getting into it. What better beer than Michelob for the holiday season? Labatt! Labatt for the holiday I season. I think I remember this commercial. I think yeah. I remember that Energizer one, too. I definitely remember this commercial. I think we might have also what me and Bird might have also watched it or something, but holiday cookies has always been a family tradition at our house. It's easy with Pillsbury sugar cookies. I just slice, shape, and bake. I remember this commercial. <coughs> Hot and fresh. And Jim and the kids do the decorating. A little green Santa Claus. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, holiday. I'm looking at those clothes. What? Very late seventies, very early eighties. Because, you know, there's that 
pe period in the middle of decades where it all just mixes. This Christmas, you can find quality Zenith products at low Jemco prices, like this 19 inch custom series cutter. Ooh, 19 inch. Jemco priced at $379.88. I always wanted to have a TV like that and turn it into a fish tank. That yeah, would be kind of cool. Five hundred dollars for a fucking goddamn VCR back in the day. That's crazy. <gasps> Rudolph. Yay. I love that. Too. Of course you do. You would. Look how happy you are. Look at me. <laughs> Christmas. I'm going to make you wear the hat. Take that hat off. You're going to have to wear this. <laughs> I ain't wearing that. That's been a bird's head. Well, get your hat. <laughs> you can't make me. <laughs> yes. Sears, we don't exist. Well, are you hanging about me or the <laughs> Sears basically not existing anymore? Look at this shoulder pads. Ugh, club soda. I'm already regretting this decision. This is we're here for we're here for a long haul. You said I can leave, so... I did not say you can you. leave, no. I said you can leave momentarily to use the bathroom if need be. God, Mom, the dog, and the kid all have the same fucking haircut. They do! Dog's like, just leave me the fuck alone. Ooh, Charlie Brown! Tex Mix. I remember these commercials. It's like, does anybody even make that stuff on their own anymore? The, the Muddy Buddies or whatever, that stuff, I assume, yeah, but like. Just checks party mix, you just buy the fucking bag. Yeah, I don't know. I guess maybe it all depended. I mean, if you were going for like quantity, you know, maybe it'd just be easier to make your own, you know. Or I guess if you did probably have like, you could probably find recipes online for like all kinds of fancy fucking gourmet ones and stuff, I bet. Is that long songs? Oh, oh, Arthur treats her. Yeah. Kind of the same thing, but. Oh, is that what it uh, is? But not the same company, but kind of the same thing, I think. See, look at these fucking shitty, fucking, no nothing fucking commercials, man. We just, we're gonna start off blurry on lights, we're gonna zoom out, and we're then we're just gonna see a crap product with a crap. So it looks like a fucking thermostat. Ooh, swing along. For when you and your family are swinging, take that for whichever way you want. Ooh, a blender! I've always wanted a blender. We have a blender. <laughs> and you never use it. We never fucking use it. Radio, Radio Shack. Shack. Oh my Remember god. Remember when Radio Shack used to exist? There are over 30 games available. And it's perfect for home management. She's right. I always just go to love going to Radio Shack clubs, you know, they always had all the RC cars and the fucking the beep 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 football games and eighty color computer only at Radio Shack, the computer experts. You know what I got for Christmas? Herpes. COVID. And I drink, I drink so much when it makes business clothes look good. <laughs> yes, he did look at that. He was about to fuck Mrs. Claus because NyQuil made her look better. <laughs> hey, whatever works. <laughs> 
half off box greeting cards. But only for seven yeah, I'm sure you gotta do fucking things much stronger than NyQuil to fuck me, so. I'm not arguing. <laughs> You're still not arguing. You're like, yeah, laudanum. <laughs> Ooh, it's Alpha Beta. I don't know what the Alpha Beta is. Where? At Hardee's? Yes. You can get a Pop Puppy or a Furry. <laughs> Didn't somewhere else do that as well? Because we don't never really had a Hardee's. I mean, we might have had a Hardee's when we were real young. But... We never really had any Hardee's around here. <laughs> Eckert and other drugstores. When you put off or Christmas shopping for so fucking long, you have no fucking choice. You're like, fuck, the only thing open is a goddamn fucking pharmacy. Our lowest price ever. And don't miss the full assortment of game cartridges available at everyday low prices. Or try your hand at Sears' wide selection of one and two player handheld sports games. What? What was that? What was the big side for? Mm, I'm yawning. Oh. This season, your Bell Phone Center store suggests a present for the future. A genuine Bell telephone. A Bell telephone. Give one for the fun of it. Man, remember there was actually commercials for telephones, and not like iPhones or whatnot, but for fucking goddamn telephones. In this game I'm playing, Luke got his daughter a me phone. <laughs> and it got stolen. You were looking for the perfect Christmas present, an amazing product of advanced technology that you I remember this fucking commercial. Polaroids were the absolute fucking shit, man. You know, like, I want to find a Polaroid! Want to know a funny story? Uh -huh. One time, we were at my mom's house. I don't remember why, but there was a whole bunch of the family there. And I was going through my older sister Donna's purse, and I found a Polaroid of her husband. Notally naked? Is that what you just said? Notally naked. But you could, you know, don't whisper. <laughs> Other people need to hear this, too. He was naked! How old were you? <laughs> old enough to know what the fuck I'd be looking at. <laughs> well, like, I don't know, probably 12, 13, something like that, maybe. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, I guess there is heart to some of these, I guess. I mean, it's just products, but you know. Yeah, it, it, it would. <gasps> the Grinch! He's a mean one. Frosty! <laughs> See how long you're just like you're just like he or here, and I'm like, <laughs> well, I guess Christmas. I could go yay Frosty because whenever I think of Frosty, I think of Microwave Massacre, because that dude that did the voice of Frosty was in Microwave Massacre. <laughs> I remember those. Do you remember those? They were like smaller things. Uh huh. Yeah. Merry Christmas, pal. Merry Christmas, pal. I'm over it. Oh, no look. <laughs> no look what? It's a horse. Of course, of course. It's all Christmassy and snowy. It's what it looks like outside our house right now. True fucking that. You can fuck off, too. You were the one yesterday as it's snowing all happy. <laughs> you're you snowing, you're snowing. <laughs> 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 Please don't 
come home for Christmas this year. Not you. Just like, you know, people say that because of, like, COVID oh, yeah. and stuff. Stay the fuck home! <laughs> Wash your goddamn hands! I remember this fucking commercial. I know this is a stupid fucking commercial, but I just... What? What's he doing? It's a phone! It hangs up when you place it on any flat surface! I should have gotten you one for the kitchen. Well... You did. Built and sold only by Radio Shack. I definitely remember that cheesy piece of shit commercial. <laughs> Gimbals? Holy hell. There's a store I haven't thought about in a long ass time. Did we actually have a Gimbal? I think here? so. Yeah. God, look at these dudes, man. They're like, here, who are we going to get for the fucking advertising? Vice President of Dick Steve and Vice President of fucking Cock Ted. <laughs> hey, it's hey, Orville Redbacher. Yeah, it is. This is my favorite time of the year. When we Redbacher get together to share the best of the season. Of course, we pop up plenty of my light and fluffy gourmet popping corn. Well, look how generic the fucking stuff is. Like the color of the fucking box and everything. I'm not Redbacher. Great Redfall to you. May your holiday be the best there is. Thanks, Orville. Gifts are plenty. It's a welcome surprise. Ooh, the gift of luggage. Whoopee! You, no, nobody buy luggage for yeah. anybody this year. No luggage. Does they don't even use luggage anymore? Does everybody just throw yes. their shit in garbage bags? Yes, and you just should <laughs> see the luggage that the, these people on the 90 Day Fiance be taking. I don't Jesus give a flying Christ. fuck about that. Christmas decorations and start thinking about what gifts to get the kids this year. Sears can help with savings of 20% on lots of clothes. Hey, what's the Steelers? Like football jerseys, sweatshirts, and award jackets for boys. And 20% off on our entire collection of Pretty Miss Petticoat sportswear, dresses, and accessories for girls. On sale now, only in the children's store. With best wishes for a happy holiday from Sears. What? Uh, I lost what I was going to say, never mind. Because like I used to remember when those were like a new thing. Remember back in the day, whenever we were kids, we had to get out of the car to open the garage door. Bastards. Your parents would stop by the fucking garage, yeah. and like, get out, open the garage door. Yeah. Like, God damn it. Bastards. <laughs> Good grief. Yeah, that's what I say whenever that shit's about to come on. Good grief. Yeah. We should have brought our Charlie Brown tree up. And put it where? Right there. We would have been the only ones that could see it. Well, I would have made you hold it like this. I remember this movie. Oh, there. <laughs> you just did, you were just confused they were using the music from the fucking first one. Holiday Row! Be the hap, hap, happiest bunch of assholes! What the fuck was that? that? Yeah, that's what I was like. It looked like a sponge. Like it took a dish sponge and. She wants two guys for Christmas. And a Polaroid. What's so, do? Have, take pictures like your sister did. <laughs> God damn, that's an expensive ass goddamn fucking damn. Polaroid. Especially in 80s money, man. Stop it! I know you're sitting there trying not to yawn all loud like you normally do, but it just sounds like you're like, <sighs> you sound like me. But I know what it is, it's yawning. 
I don't know why I'm so goddamn yawny. All right, after this, after this commercial, if you want, we'll take a fucking short intermission. So you can, <laughs> you can get up and like, okay. Check we'll, it up. So yeah. Anyway, we'll be back. I need to shake my to, shit off. To you, momentarily. So we'll be back. According to legend, little folk know hills is where the toys are. Hills toy layaway. Just ten percent down. A small service charge. Lays away toys, little and large. Hundreds of toys. Express layaway too. So layaway is even easier for you. Remember, Hills Toy Layaway. One reason they're different and why they say, Hills is where the toys are. At low prices every day. All right, we're back from intermission, so we might as well just hop straight back into this. As hippopotamuses love me too. So, you more awake now? Probably not. It'll be fine. Oh yeah. Good cop. Well, just since I was all off screen, I moved her phone, which was sitting on top of her coffee. <clears throat> not exactly the best of ideas. Oh yeah, I want to get some of that. Yeah, you did just bring up Hickory Farms this morning. Yeah. And a bunch of you relatives. Do you remember whenever they were actually used to be Hickory Farms stores like that in malls? They still used. They still pop up. Yeah, but they don't look like barns and whatnot like they used to whenever malls were all full of stores. Now they're just fucking empty as fuck. So, I don't know. What do you think? Besides Aretha Franklin and whatnot, what do you think? It, it, has there been much heart in... I mean, yes, there has been in some, but isn't it, it's kind of more of a... just a nostalgic kind yeah. of feeling. It really doesn't seem to be... Wow, I didn't know Target's been around that long. There's more for your Christmas at I mean, I know. Nice. The old days. Yeah. Yeah, now he's got. Now, nah, God, what's gonna Jesus do? We can see your fucking moose knuckle. Oh, I just completely lost my fucking train of thought now. Thanks, dude. <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna get me some tonight. So she, she's gonna fuck this stuffed animals. What the fuck is that? A pachinko machine. Huh? I always wanted a pachinko machine. This heavy duty jogging trampoline, just fifty nine ninety seven, or Milky Bradley's Zany Operation Game, only six ninety seven. Damn, seven bucks. How much those games are now? What, like thirty bucks? Yeah, but how much was seven bucks worth in eighties money? I remember this fucking commercial. It's like she can't fucking. Oh, I guess not. I was like, she can't see the goddamn thing he's holding. A little boy is blinded in a store. I can't see. And Sister Teresa teaches him the beauty of the first. Uh, this is that little drummer boy one, huh? Um, was it? Or was it uh, yeah, that the was Christmas donkey? Or was it like the Christmas donkey one? Bring home some Christmas joy. Sunday Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that was. Right now, wrap up a beautiful. I know. I'm not. I've never been the biggest fucking fan of fucking those. Even when I was a kid, I never really cared about yeah, that. Those. One wasn't uh, a. Any of them. It was like Garfield was really the only ones I was like, you know. I mean, yeah, I got forced to watch fucking goddamn Snoopy and Charlie Brown every fucking year, but never really a fucking fan. I don't know. I think it's more of just being forced to watch things. Anytime that I'm like fucking forced to watch something, I'm like, huh. Well, thanks, Sarah Poof. Oh, yeah, do they? 
A blue ball! A puppy? I don't think so. A Kodak camera. Now <laughs> you're cooking. I'm only gift she can give. Is that Michael Landon? Yes, it is. It's got electronic flash But it's like, okay, what kind of climate climate do you have to be in where you're it's Christmas and it looks like it's winter out because your kid's got a goddamn jacket on, but you're just wearing one of those fucking Marty McFly vests. <laughs> Well, there's the people you love. Poopy vests never go out of style. <laughs> but I'm still wondering what kind of climate it has to fucking be. You know, like, it has to be cold enough that I want to keep my fucking titties warm, but not, I don't want my arms to be too hot. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget them. Keep Hallmark Christmas cards when you carry enough to send the very best. I remember this fucking commercial. God, they're all Michelob fucking commercials. It's like, we can't sell Michelob any other time during the year, only Christmas time, because nobody wants that piss water. <laughs> it's like, what kind of fucking Christmas party was that? Coleco. Did they say from Hills? Yeah. Cause Hills is where the toys are. Oh, thank you, Daddy. <laughs> Ew, creepy. <laughs> creepy. <laughs> Go! You were able to. You got them. I want diamonds. <laughs> well, it's the '80s, and you know all the fucking white dick bags like that had all the fucking money. So you're able to just buy a house and buy your shoulder padded wife, goddamn diamonds. Diamonds. Zales. That place even exists anymore. I think so, right? I don't know. I'm working so hard. I'm changing your Genovese drugstore into your Genovese Christmas store with your choice of holiday specials. Because that's where this ring came Genovese from. Prices you love. Sales. Like these Clairol Florine products, shampoo 6.8 ounce, 399 conditioner 4.2 ounce. Nothing says Christmas like shampoo and conditioner. Yeah, wash your hair, bitch. We know that Santa, huh? No. Probably not now. No. I thought it said your Christian <laughs> store. <laughs> Christian drugstore. Data Man. That's like, he should be from um, Kung Fury. Like with Hacker Man and, and um, oh, what was the cop's name? Triceracop. <laughs> I remember that one. Oh, yeah, the professor looking one. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, holy shit, those are huge bags of M&M's. I haven't had M&M's in a while. Yeah. We're going shopping. No, if we're buying m and if you're buying M&M's, peanut M&M's, those are the best M&M's. All the rest of them are, man. I like those caramel ones. Yeah. Well, I'm talking about, but if, I mean, if you're going for any m and M's. fucked up. His mouth looked like he was sucking yes! a bird or something. Okay, remember how yesterday I told you you don't have to save any Christmas movies to watch with me? I lied. You have to save Miracle on 34th Street and Scrooge. All the rest of them go at it, because, yeah. Yeah, I'll watch this one with you. Well, I gotta watch it just because of fucking um, David Johansson, man. I mean, I love that movie, but just like, yeah, David Johansson. Oh, I remember those fucking things. Were those Hallmark? I think so. I want to say I remember my mom, like, getting some of those whenever I was real little. 
Dude, did I drive a 12 pack? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is fucking funny. <laughs> I mean, that'd be pretty great if you like you could just your 12 pack would deliver themselves. Fuck yeah! I'm mean, like, come on, 12 pack. <laughs> <laughs> Silly 12 pack, he was running in the walls. That was his leg. That was dude's leg. <laughs> was that? Is he trying to help it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? That was a belt. At a jewelry store? I think, no, it's probably like a, you know, department store. Nice. Easy care mix and match coordinates from Catalina. Versatile fashion Jesus. can go everywhere. Share the Christmas spirit with a gift from Ivy. Ivy. It was the holiday season and Mom was busy as could be baking chocolate chip cookies from a new recipe. <laughs> wow, it's not triple X, it's quadruple X. <laughs> Ooh, what was the Pillsbury Doughboy fucking doing there? Did it involve yeast infections and whatnot? If you like yeah. Dollhouse cookies, you'll love this new holiday recipe. You'll love this new holiday recipe. It includes cum. Give a radio shot the plush animal Whoa. The that is freaky as all hell. Yeah, they, yeah, they are. Dude. I almost thought that was a real dog at first. Well, quality's pretty shitty. And they're great show offs in a teenager's room. Are they now? Uh, I'm terrified. <laughs> yeah, kind of. I don't like it. Celebrate the magic of the holidays. Okay. That's on Netflix, Is it? if you care. This is another movie I was forced to watch every fucking year. I mean, there's a sad, depressing backstory to it that I won't get into why I was forced to watch it, but... Yeah, I was like fucking at the end of, um, uh, what's it called? Clockwork Orange. Like my mom would fucking strap me down, fucking put shit in my eye. <laughs> and they're watch my grandma! <laughs> hey, it's one of those disc film cameras. Remember that shit? They had the round disc film. I remember those being huge back in the fucking day. We had one. Did you have one? Probably. Now make us dinner! <laughs> what? <laughs> Is this a Whitman sampler uh -huh. thing? Mm -hmm. Yep. I mean, I guess some of these do have art, but it's always like, but a lot of these are just store ones. Like, come to to Boscov's and buy one of these major products. I don't know Boscov's. I don't know. I don't even think I've ever been in a Boscov's. What's going on here, creepy ass kid? This kid was pretty fucking creepy. Ooh, a 50 cent gift certificate for somewhere. I couldn't tell where. That kid is creepy as shit, dude. He I play with mommy. Young. Now I play with <laughs> you. What the fuck's even going on here? He don't walk right. He's got a pumpkin for a head. Oh, he's giving out to Santa. Mm. He's bribing him. Hey, fuck you, fatty. Give the fucking cookie back. Santa don't want your goddamn 50 cent gift certificate for goddamn McDonald's. He's like, where's the fucking cookie, fatty? <laughs> <laughs> He'll tie you up like fucking dude for best Christmas ever. Is he wearing scrubs? That's why I bought these Safeway gift certificates. You can get them from $5 to $25. And the people you give them to... I doubt it, but I was like, just clothes back in the 80s all fit like scrubs. Yeah, They're just like, bleh. We need some kind of garland for our tree. We never put garland on our tree. We don't put garland on our tree forever. We did that one year. 
Yeah, I was like, it's, it's been a long fucking time. Ham? That does not look like a delicious ham. Yeah, it's like one of those crap ones, like, like yeah. My fucking work gave me that one year. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but this year you got a frozen fucking great value apple pie, so don't fucking... Well, that just... was for Thanksgiving. Oh, true, not because Christmas ain't happened yet, but yeah. But at least it was a frozen one. It didn't go to waste. We just chuck it in the freezer and we can fucking bake it whenever the fuck we feel like it. Hey, the Facts of Life Christmas. Facts of Life. Wow, I forgot about that show. Tony Randall and shit. Is that Casey Kasem doing the fucking thing? Hmm. That was an interesting... Oh, I think that's the point. It's supposed to be stupid. Toe socks! I love toe socks. I don't want your toe socks. I don't want your weird wicker bullhead. Give me a butt plug look at Old Spice. <laughs> I can't believe that shit's still around. That fucking dude, what's his name? He did, My dad he did used the, to do that shit with the cup of soap and yeah. sugar cream stuff. Yeah. Oh, the Sears catalog, dude. Remember that just to be like that thick. Yeah, dude, you just go through it and look at all the fucking chicks with their like bras and stuff. You guys are such perverts. <laughs> but then you get to like the, the kids section and you're like sitting there like, I want this, I want this. And all your parents are like, oh, no, 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 no. You have that. If we could ever, like, well, since we don't go anywhere and nothing's happening now, but I was like, we could ever find a Sears fucking catalog at like a yard sale or flea market, we should buy it and go through it on video <laughs> one time. Like for Christmas or something. Don't look forward to it because it's probably never going to fucking happen. Yeah, I guess that had heart to it. Got any parent to buy any of those toys or like, oh my god, what did I fucking do? I had that battleship yeah. game. I want to say I had something like that too whenever I was like really young. It looked really fucking familiar. Like Skaggs? Gifts, I don't want to buy anything for my kids from Skaggs. Ooh, now it's only $300. That must have been pretty fucking expensive if they wouldn't even tell you the actual, actual price of it. They're like, $41 a month for 10,000 months. <laughs> How long, Terry? No. <laughs> no, Terry. I remember this commercial. So I always thought it was kind of weird. It's like, yeah, so you got your your family member, your dad or whatever, works at a fucking lighthouse. So you got to fucking take a goddamn dinghy through the fucking waves to bring up a tree and everything else. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We promise you many happy returns. Because when you exchange any JC Penny gift at any one of our 14... Hey, Pennies, remember when that was a thing? Get in return. No hassle. JC Penny. You know, nothing brings back the memories of Christmas like... Like beating my kids. Is that Ben Crosby? This year's newest album, Christmas Is... 14 Christmas classics by outstanding... It's so fucking blurry, I can't tell if it's Bing Crosby or Tony Randall. I know it's not Tony Randall. The Carpenters. Frank Sinatra. Joel Stafford. The Hillside Singers. I thought it was going to be the Hillside Stragglers. Tony Bennett. Hmm, how'd he get in there? So yes, I'm going to take it that's Bing Crosby then. The Mills Brothers. The Mills Brothers! Vicky Carr, Patty Page, and Julie Andrews. Christmas is just a dollar twenty-five at your Goodyear service store. Wow! Most Goodyear dealers. 
I just told a funny Goodwill story about that bed frame we bought from Goodwill. And then we broke it the first time we fucked on it. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear that. Because <laughs> now you just had half our audience throwing up in their fucking mouths and then the <laughs> other half doing things I don't even want to fucking think of. Hey, Toys R Us, remember when I was a thing? Now we're just getting to the point. Remember when that was a thing? Remember when that was a thing? This does feel like it's going on. For how fucking long, Terry? <laughs> Christmas Terry! <laughs> thrust in the darkness because you're evil oh that's right they don't know that you're truly evil they just think you're a happy nice person <laughs> well not available at the downtown LA store dash master eight track player There's a place in town that has 12 terrific glasses. I remember those glasses. And every time you buy a medium sized Pepsi for only 59 cents, mm, I don't know if I remember those. I was that kind of do. There are only two glasses every week, so you have to keep coming back and get the whole thing. And you know why that's so nice? Because the place you have to keep coming back to is Taco Bell. Wow, and you see that's what that Taco Bell looked like. I ate my wife! A classic holiday special for the whole family. That was the movie! <laughs> what? Leprechauns? I don't remember this. I would say I slightly do, but like I said, I'm, I never really liked watching any of these stupid things. <laughs> they must be <laughs> liars. To make the right impression, friendly enough to show you mean it. And now with special holiday packaging to go with your best wishes and with all your holiday plans. Holidays were made So we're made for Michelob. All these beers commercials are making me want a beer, but it's ten o'clock in the fucking morning. Suck my ass. <laughs> you go to fucking church. <laughs> Kroger's. I used to go there when we were kids and get free cookies all the time. Where was there a fucking Kroger's? In at? the Heights. That used to be okay, the two grocery stores. Kroger's and then Shop and Save. It was food land to shop and save. No, that's what Kroger's turned into, was food land. It was a Kroger's first. Nothing says Merry Christmas like tools you can dismember your wife with. Okay, Dexter. Remember Aunt Hilda? Yes. She helped make your first party dress. American Greetings wonders who you forgot to remember this year. What better time to say hello than Christmas? With friendly faces Aww. like Ziggy. Ziggy. Ziggy, I remember him. Oh, is Ziggy still a fucking thing? Ziggy was huge back in the fucking 80s. I don't even understand why. American Greetings, the right card for that special person. Why did Grandpa freak mm -hmm. out? Well, we're getting the fucking Eden Park commercial. 
to anybody that's not from our area be like, so why why do they give a fuck about this stupid commercial? Because this is a tradition. Yes, it is our Every fucking childhood. Year. I mean, it is pretty cool commercial, though. Teamwork. Work smarter, not harder. Always remember that. Oh, there's the Christmas donkey. Stupid. Yeah, I never really got into that. Your ears can do wondrous things. Other ears. I'm creepy. I talk creepy. Merry creepy. And on the way, he discovers his own courage and a new use for his law here. Sex things. I mean, what? All across the country, people celebrate Christmas in their own special way. This year, people are going to celebrate. Has in common. America's Santa's Christmas got COVID, he can't come, Kmart don't exist, so, yeah. So anyway, this isn't working. <laughs> Am I actually bringing you down with my rumpfness? Yes! <laughs> I'm sorry. That's what hell of an Estee Lauder do. 200 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Do, 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 do. Yo, I remember those plastic lights, bell lights with the fucking lights in them, and you turn them on and like ding, 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 ding. For the holiday. Andres Pamonte. Cold duck! Yes! <laughs> Does anybody drink fucking cold duck anywhere? Does cold duck even exist? What the fuck is it? Why do he's used to drink it a lot? I don't know. Hey, we have some of those. Yes, we do, because we're fucking fat stoners. I am not. You're right, I'm a fat stoner. Ooh, this would have been cold as fuck. Santa would have been like, ah! The Sally Enchanted and Donna Tree. What the fuck is that? A camera? I don't want an old camera. <laughs> Kodak disc. Here's Paddington. Oh, Paddington. <gasps> Me too. Do you remember whenever the fucking waitresses at Pizza Hut had to wear those fucking uniforms? I remember those ornaments. Yeah, I honestly say I do remember those ornaments as well. We never had them. Yeah, I don't think we did yeah, either, but I remember them existing. Because, yeah, I was never into Paddington at all, so... Yeah. Well, I mean, I read them. I knew of them. Meryl! That thing is almost bigger than the cat. Educate. Entertain. Where in the world is Carbon Sad? Yeah, there you go. I don't know if that's what the game was, but whatever. I think of old computers. I'm thinking that kind of game. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, it's an elf. I, I didn't want to say I'm a toast crutch elf. I just thought it was an old lady. I was like, Jesus Christ, that old lady's <laughs> fucked up looking. <laughs> <laughs> I think I remember this commercial now. I didn't until he said, like me, like me. Oh, so that was the 80s commercials. Now we're going to be moving on to the 90s, but I think I want another intermission because I have no drink. Oh, all right. What, all right, what? Intermission or what do we're moving on? Because <laughs> we're, we're already well past the point of no return. We have to finish this episode out. Well, I mean, I guess we technically don't. We could just stop and this never would exist. And us doing this would have been for absolutely nothing. Okay. 
No, that's not gonna happen. We're gonna go to an intermission and then we'll be right back. Yeah. birthday so we're back from intermission and this is fucking taking its goddamn toll i don't want to be doing this anymore <laughs> merry christmas and we're, uh, not taking its toll on you i see so anyway let's just start the fucking 90s christmas it's christmas <sighs> christmas you just need a big Christmas hug. I'll accept it, but it's not helping. Ooh. Damn, Nana's gonna break her hip. <laughs> And I'll be wiping her ass. So, I mean, I don't want to fucking... Damn, God, all loud. I don't want to fucking say about, like, the heart thing, but I have no hearts, and none of this is... It's all just me. Whoa. That guy got a new car. Whoa, a Lexus. Well, la dee da <laughs> <laughs> Okay. God, remember when these were a fucking thing? Priceless. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's happiness. And I ain't got none of that. I ain't got no money or no. You happiness. need a MasterCard. <laughs> I don't think that would help. Hey! Oh, look at those beautiful ornaments! You talking about Cindy Crawford's boobs? No, those oh. earrings! <laughs> I was thinking about, big those I was thinking about Cindy Crawford's boobs. Of course you were. <laughs> God. Hey, I spent most of the 90s thinking about Cindy Crawford's boobs. What's wrong with you people? Nothing, nothing at all. Just oh, Christy Alley, I don't want to think about her boobs. <laughs> hey, it's that lady. Wasn't she just in a Christmas music where she was, or movie where she was all fat and drunk? Kirstie Alley? Yeah. Maybe? I think like, so. Like, I know anything about Christmas movies. Or is that just life where she she's was, fat she and drunk? She was the mother. She played the mother. I don't know. In this movie. I don't remember what it is. I don't know. Because that you're all wrinkly and saggy. That turkey's not wrinkly and saggy. Is it a honeysuckle? <laughs> oh, butterball. Butter Happy little. Hey, I would say, is that fat little fucking kid from Bad Santa? <laughs> Thurman Merman. I want a purple hippo. No, Pink. elephant. Pink. He couldn't decide. It was, pink. it was purple or pink. All right, I am so fucking over this. Ding, fries are done. Ding, fries are done. I hate gift wrapping. I tell you I do it all the time, but you never give me the presents to wrap. Yeah, because then you would see them. I just throw them in bags, like gift That's bags, okay. and be like, there you go. I don't mind if I see them. <laughs> hey, it's Clydesdales. Can't be oh. Christmas without some fucking Budweiser Clydesdales. I'm over this. 
and we still got this is the 90s and 2000s we still got the 2020s to get to nah. so there could be fuck tons of heart in the 2020 ones and by the way I'm feeling already now I don't, I don't care what Santa's watching fuck him fuck you fuck them I'm sorry. I got a little fucking angry. Huh. <laughs> that was my Tourette's. Recreated by chemicals. Presents, not Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to get Christmas. What the fuck is even going on here? What kind of asshole is going to be buying an African safari? Oh, look how pretty. I need that. It's a sparkly stone. Do you really need it? What is up with you women just being like fascinated with sparkly things? You're like fucking crows. Oh look, he shops at JC Penney's. He's an all right guy. <laughs> that dude has a <coughs> sport coat. <laughs> <laughs> she just totally regifted that gift. Whoa, that looks like a pretty serious gift, too. Huh. That was supposed to be... Yeah, I, I gotcha. Oh. Is that Brian Cranston? I think that's Brian Cranston. I think... Oh, my God. <laughs> Space Jams. I think you're right. That is Jesus Brian Cranston. Christ. Pre-cancer. <laughs> uh, I think pre. Yes. I was gonna say I think pre fucking Malcolm. <laughs> I think I remember this commercial. Bye 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 all the blade consumerism is fucking wearing down my soul. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> is it? It must be real fun for you, because it's... I will devour your soul in Christmas spirit! <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely not fucking doing injecting me full of Christmas cheer. It's injecting me full of cynicism and hate. But I guess everything does that. You know that. You married me. Happy <laughs> 
That is the creepiest star thing ever. Where'd its face go? I don't know. It had a face. There it is! Wow, a boombox. I remember those glasses and tea sets. Hills. Bye 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 bye. Greens, beans, potatoes, tomatoes, potatoes. <laughs> you name it! I got greens, beans. Did we see this commercial already? I don't know, but why is I don't think so. stuff? Isn't it supposed to be it's, Christmas? Well, it's holidays, so... Ooh, look, she mad. She's like, my husband! What's going on here? I have never seen this before ever in my life. Are they gonna bite her? Whoa, separation. Lick it! Ah! Oh. <laughs> That's fucking great. Oh, now the dog's gonna get him. Yep, here it comes. What's happening? I don't know what oh, is this. Oh, they're reunited. Well, what kind of commercial is this stupidness? Oh, I have no fucking idea. It's a grocery store. Oh. Mmm, <gasps> season's greetings is right. I guess at least it's not the creepy incest fucking commercial where the brother comes home for Christmas and it just seems like him and his sister were fucking creepy. I mean, I mean, there's still time. It might still happen on here, but... So yeah, that was 90s and 2000s. Thank God we're like 13 minutes away from being done. <laughs> but then I gotta go back to life just being Christmas everywhere because it's December. Harumph. So anyway, let's just start this. No intermission, no nothing. Let's just get through most likely the most depressing fucking commercials ever from the because they're from 2020. I'm leaving. See, already too fancy. Like, it looks like a Netflix show. Mm.
So this is where we're supposed to pay attention for the heart, see if there's the lack of heart. Oh, so Dad fucking Robinson Caruso just to get his daughter's fucking Santa Claus letter. Which, a little fucking hint, secret. Santa Claus isn't real. The fuck is he He's driving across, or somehow going across the world, it seems. I don't care. Where do you get skis from? Oh, oh yes, yeah, yes, yeah, like. So, basically, <laughs> Dad went through hell to get to the North Pole for nothing. Wait, wait, how's this number three? What was number two? I don't fucking know. I hate this animation style too. Ugh, that's, bleh, 2020. Look every, at there's crackers. There were Christmas crackers in the background. But yeah, everything about 2020. Their Christmas commercials, their everything just. Yeah. Well, McDonald's ain't gonna make my inner kid go woohoo. It's gonna make my inner kid vomit and have heartburn. You're crazy. We used to spend all kinds of time in McDonald's. Yeah, that's when you were a kid. Now you eat it, you're like, meh. Well, not you, because you're you. What the hell's that? Decorations. Uh. So I guess this is supposed to have heart, but my heart, unlike the Grinch, whose heart grew two sizes too big, mine shrunk three sizes too small. What the hell's that? Reindeer treats, it said, I think. Oh. That must have been a British one, because those look like British houses, and they said they had crackers and stuff. <laughs> this one must be a British one. So these must all be British ones. Whoa! Fucking idea, it's a Lego commercial, but I have no idea. Oh. So, yeah, obviously, neither one of us are impressed with anything going on here. I mean, this commercial is kind of cool, though. I guess. It's all like shit in kids' imaginations. All right, moving the fuck on. 
Rexy was dancing mm. in the background. What a wonderful world! Get off me. Now well, somebody needs to, might as well be Lego. <laughs> Poop on my ball, bird. Whoa. That's an ugly fucking bird. He's gonna poop on it. What? Of all the things to be, I choose a kindness, and if you gave some to me. Why is everything so sad in these commercials? The fucking Coca-Cola one was depressing. The goddamn McDonald's one with the inner child was just hmm. And now like this one, like the Lego one, that one I guess was happy cheery. Watson. Oh. No. But they don't give a Want little Rose? love. What the hell did that say? Want Rose and Partners? What the fuck is that? I would assume British because they're Christmas crackers and the paper crowns and the fucking jokes. And that kid's got Dracula's hair from goddamn Bram Stoker's Dracula. <laughs> Is that like the good feathers? Remember the good feathers from Animaniacs? <laughs> Ayo! I guess you can say this one has heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all it is, is fucking heart. <laughs> Wait, that was supposed to be that, that fucking fat fucking marshmallow was supposed to be that little girl? That's a horrible fucking shit you're doing to that little girl in this animation. So obviously, we came across the fucking British one, huh? A compilation. Way to go, husband. Why? Why does it fucking matter? So did I. What the fuck is up with 2020, man? Fuck 2020. Fuck their commercials. Fuck everything. Yeah, that guy had a mask on. I did do a charity bagel. I grew up. Did it again. Why Santa Trump orange? And his goddamn paper crumbs! Yeah, this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What they grow? Carrots. Oh. So, this must obviously be an Australian one, because if there are carrots growing during Christmas time, it has to be on the other side of the fucking world. The spirit of Christmas. Ooh. Oh, yay, a Walmart commercial, because these will oh, have lots of hearts to them. Friends? I've been out there. Oh, it's a Canadian Walmart, I guess. It needs some holiday cheer. It's your time to shine. You gotta cuddle your way into their hearts. Their hearts. Till there's a smile on every face. So, who's in? Look at it. No smile on your face. No smile on my face. 
joy does not start here. Joy ends here. 2020 <laughs> is the black hole of fucking joy. <laughs> hey, is that like a mincemeat pie? Probably. Maybe. Uh, yes, deluxe mince pie is one pound 49. <laughs> Ooh, you get a jumper with their logo and pigs in a blanket. Hey, there's fucking Yorkshire Puddings. Ooh, that carrot good. looks real sad. They, no, they look good. No, I mean, it had a face. Oh. It was pretty sad it was getting eaten. Paper crowns. <laughs> Christmas crackers! Alright, I know we have a decent amount of British viewers out there. Y'all motherfuckers, like, you know, still do your crackers every year. They have crackers at, your at fucking, Walmart. I know. But do your paper crowns and your stupid jokes and your fucking toys and whatnot. So no joy on this one. Christmas carrot just went down. I'm not even sure what the fuck is going on here. Doesn't matter. Whoa, man down. Well, hedgehog and carrot down. <laughs> Does that mean they're dead and now they're a cake? They I died, don't know. Man. Yeah. Them motherfuckers died. Oh, no, they Bastards. didn't. Bastards. What the hell is even going on here? That is the creepiest ET e carrot e ever. Oh, my God. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So wait a minute, now you're getting back to the dinner table. Table. Santa's going to eat you when he comes back. I think Santa just got done eating his family. Now the only one's left that one there. Thanks, Aldi. So I guess that was that. So, yeah. I guess it's all on you. Not you. But all on them to see if it really, really, if there was some heart in the 2020, or if there was any heart in any of it at all. If it was just all bye, 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 what? What? I didn't feel any heart. I don't care what your fucking opinion is in any of it at all. Get out. In any of it at all? No, not really. I mean, there was a little smidge. Here it was. There. It's mostly what I've noticed, like nostal like our own nostalgia fillings on the things, you know, kind of do. So there really was no. I mean, there's, you know, they're like, we want you to feel, you know, warm fillings, but, man, I don't care. I'm done with this. <laughs> on that note, for gutter and trash. Merry Christmas. We'll see you later.